my people <laughs> Olivia and Naomi don't do this one though yes yeah, she don't do this one and this very one where she don't do like this it is a proof and of course evidence that she really really wants to return back into the palace and spend a very good time with her family including her husband <laughs> by family you my people we mean prince teden nikawo and the only because now the two two persons where that woman um gets something to come back into the palace will be that remember the last time when she talks he not for her son prince teden nikawo she doesn't have a problem so remember that this woman uh, badly wants to give her son Priscilla a proper home and that is what she, exactly what she's doing right now so my people right now know only now may don't pack all the prayer warriors that she gave for her church for her career don't storm Ilefe inside the palace to break every single um charm that they are Miriam or Ronke or any of these Oluris have inside the palace because remember now she is the one in charge and you know Everybody was saying the last time Naomi made an attempt to return back into the palace. Or let's say the last time they only made an attempt to bring her back into the palace. Everybody was on an opinion that for how long will she last? It doesn't matter how long Naomi lasts. It matters the impact she makes. Because obviously now what we are beginning to look at or what we are observing is, is, is the fact that Naomi is willing Yes, Naomi is willing. In fact, all of these times, Naomi even asked for divorce and other things. It seems like one of the reasons was for her to know if I am here or let me know exactly where I am. Because you as a woman, a woman who has feelings, who has emotions, who has blood stuck in her veins, cannot just walk under an assumption that eh this man wants me so let me just be there yes now me in as much as she's a prophetess she's a woman of god she has feelings she has emotions she has all of these things intact so it's only right that she gets to know exactly what is there for her so that she can work with it and that is exactly what naomi tried doing some time back but it so happened that the only badly wanted her around so she also sticked around because in as much as naomi pronounced that she she wanted a divorce we did not hear a scenario where naomi got involved with anybody yes now now this woman have proven a lot of things that this Oluris needs to learn from of all naomi has self-control yes naomi has self-control and in the midst of it all you will get to understand that every single thing happening every single thing happening only proves that only proves that Oluri Naomi knows exactly what she's up to. So as it is right now, no, my people, those asking how long Naomi would last, it doesn't matter. It the impact Naomi is about to make in the palace is the most important thing. And as it is at the moment, Naomi have stormed the palace with with prayer warriors to make sure that they destroy every single thing that these Oluris have kept in the palace not only there's no news concerning the things that these oluris get to keep in the palace because the other time that juju was found in olori naomi's chamber everybody denied but what did the if a chief priest see that it will not exceed miriam and ronke they are the only ones who are capable of digging their hands into things that are far bigger than them and truly it was no other person but these two set of human beings who are always getting involved in things that are bigger than them and these things that are bigger than them keeps crushing them they keep rumbling their necks you see how how their involvement into every single thing that had not been ideal lately has crushed them down so right now no whatsoever Oluri naomi is doing it's for her to return back to her home it's for her to return back to the place she was legally married to and anybody that will be tempted to judge this woman is just being inconsiderate yes you are inconsiderate because if you would want to be considerate then you would understand that olori naomi has really really tried olori naomi has done her possible best not to fight all this time yeah people will say she's fighting because launching her business in lagos was a proof that Olori Naomi is, is equal to the tax. She, she's ready to fight. She's ready to go any extent to achieve whatever it is she wants. But if you also want to look at it in a different dimension, the woman was not fighting. The woman was just living her life. Many people have business out there. Many people are doing whatsoever it is they feel they can do to survive. But nobody is calling. 
boom naomi launches her own business and they call it pride that she's showing off and all of those things naomi has always been a fighter naomi has always been someone who doesn't want to sit at one end and beg naomi is that singular person who no matter what happens she wanted a life better than even what she had in the palace and she wanted this kind of life that even if i don't get to return back into the palace let me not have to beg for my son and that's exactly what the woman was doing no matter what was happening was not much of a concern building a life for herself and her son was what was her concern when she did the launching of her perfume line in lagos that celebrities like anita joseph and the rest were in attendance you hear her speech that she made at that event she said building a life that will be worth living for her and her son is just her concern nothing more than that so any other person dragging this woman that she launched a business now she wants to expand to abuja as a sign of competition it is the person's concern what naomi is doing naomi is trying to live her best life and naomi not allowing any of these uluis in the palace to you know tell her how she is going to live her life became indeed a thing of destruction to this woman they felt naomi was proving strong they felt naomi was being stubborn not yield to the things they wanted but not knowing that naomi is not just being stubborn neither is she proving strong naomi is naturally a strong person who does not have a concern with what you people are doing neither is she into competition with anybody so my people right now no i saw this matter it can't take b and as it is progressing naomi is currently in the palace with people to pray and remove every single demonic um stuff that has been kept in the palace and trust me they will find a lot of it all this why that charm were falling falling out of um miriam's bag um calabash with pots pictures red clothes tied on it were found in their quarters their chambers and then the all sort of confession that was coming from maids um, drivers the places they drive these women to the kind of things they do and you know there are much reason enough for naomi to do a thorough cleansing in the palace before she comes back this is her life we are talking of and of all she's coming back with her son so no matter what happens the woman should do what she ought to do to give her a very good and a fruitful life in the palace my people who also the matter they take b at the end of the day naomi is whosoever she thinks she is because this woman she's winning really really big yeah, she's winning big. Her silence is winning big for her. Her not talking is winning big for her. Her keeping silent to every single thing is winning big for her. And she would continue winning vigorously. As long as this palace exists, Naomi would keep on winning day after day.